Hello everybody, welcome to this English class here on Zoom. Let me show you what is this class going to be about. Thank you so much for joining. How are you? Are you ready for today's class? Yes. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to continue working on this thing that is called so, to, neither, and either. This is pre-intermediate English module number three, and this is class number six. So welcome, y'all. It's nice to have you one more time. Good evening. Thank you so much for being here. As you may know, it's raining in some places, right? Yes. It's, we still have winter rain. Uh, unbelievable. Okay. <laughs> this is unbelievable. That's nature, right? That's nature. Okay. That's unbelievable. Welcome, Marvin. Hello. How are you? Hi, teacher. It's nice to have you. One more time. It is raining in my song. Oh, yes. In my canton as well. It's raining. Yes. So. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's right. It. Yeah. It's necessary to drink a uh, coffee. Oh yes. Yeah, and also right. plants, they love it. Plants, yeah. they love it. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Very good. Irma Suleima. Hello. Welcome. Good good evening, evening. It's nice to have you. Also, um Sebastiana. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Nice to have you. Gerardo. Good evening, Gerardo. Welcome. And also Anna Isela Janis. It's nice to have you, all of you. We're going to start this Good class, evening. which is number six. Okay, so welcome. It's nice to have you. Let's begin. We're going to start a little bit uh, on this one. San Francisco. What is this thing? Look at this picture here. What is the name of this thing? What is this thing? Mm -hmm. How do you call this thing in English? I saw this one on, on a movie that is called X-Men, the number three. Okay. <laughs> what is the name of this one? Oh, I don't know. I think it's another one. I think it's another one. I'm sorry. I got confused. What is the name of this object here in the picture? How do you say? Uh-huh. Anybody? It's not nice a golden gate bridge. No. Exactly. It is a bridge, right? We have a big bridge here connecting two cities. Very good. Catherine. Hello, Catherine. Good evening. Good evening. Do you hear me nice and clear? Catherine Nicole. Oh, I'm sorry. She's busy, probably. Oh, Esmeralda. Okay, Esmeralda. Thank you so much. No problem. So, Catherine. Hello, Catherine. Can you participate, Catherine? Yes or no? Yes. Do me a favor. Read the information here, please. Thank you. Go ahead. San Francisco attracts more than 16 million visits. Visitors. visitors visitors a jerk there are many things do you to do in the city from shopping at fishermen's wharf to walking over the gold, golden gate bridge while visitors come all years the summer in the most popular time it never gets extremely cold or hot in the San Francisco, but it can be fairly cool much of the time. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. So this information is about San Francisco, right? What are the things that visitors uh, do there? Yes. What are the attractions that people find here in San Francisco? What about El Salvador, Ana Isela Janes? What is one of the most interesting cities that you can recommend when somebody visits El Salvador? 
um, La Puerta del Diablo is an uh, interesting place. Okay, and where is located that place? Um, eh, what do you say, clima? Oh, the, the climate uh, or the weather? The climate, yeah. And, no sé, the peace. For me, the peace. Yeah, but the question is, what is the city? Sacate Coluca. Um, I, um, I don't know, teacher. <laughs> I don't know, Panchimalco. What, what's the no. name of the city? Uh, I mean, I La Puerta. I think La Puerta de Diablo is located in Panchimalco. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, yes. Yeah. I don't know. Yep. Oh, you let me know. Very good. Thank you so much. Very good. What about you, Irma? Tell me, what is one of the most interesting city that you recommend for like people that come to El Salvador to visit? Irma? Hello, Irma. Suleima. Teacher, sorry. Oh, that's okay. Tell me, what is one of the most interesting city, like here in our country, that you recommend? Um, I like in Los Chorros. Oh, oh, okay. But what is what is the city? What is, what is the, the name of the city? San Salvador? It is um, La Libertad. Oh, La Libertad. Is that like... Mm. Or is that Lourdes? Colón. Colón. Yes. Oh, also the city is La Libertad or is Lourdes Colón? Uh, Lourdes Colón. Oh, okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. What are the places that, that we can find in Lourdes? Um, Metro Centro. Oh, okay. There is a mall. Very good. What um, else? Los Chorros, you told me, right? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. What else? I don't know. <laughs> okay. No problem. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Remember that when it comes to communicate something about cities, we need to like give like places that people can visit over there. You know what I mean? For example, uh, like here in San Salvador, right? You can visit, I don't know, uh, the cathedral. You can visit museums, um, libraries. You can go to different plazas, right? So you can see, I don't know, people dancing over there yes uh, also you can go to uh, nightclubs and also uh, you can I don't know uh, go to go shopping we have different malls here in San Salvador so when it comes to communicating or describing or talking about your city oh yes that is good Anna that is correct right we need to give details like what we can do. For example, if you want to say, oh, one of the big cities or one of the interesting cities could be, um, I don't know, El Puerto de la Libertad, right? And you can tell like different things or places that we can visit over there. Yes, right? So that's that's the way we do it, right? We say a city, we mention a city, and also we say the attractions, the different activities that we can like do or or like the things that we can see over there in this city. Okie dokie. Yesterday we were working with agreement and disagreement. For example, if I say San Salvador is the best city. Okay. No, for example, if I say uh, I don't like I don't know, yuca frita. If you want to agree, Sebastiana, with that expression, 
I don't like yuca frita. And if you want to agree with that expression, what do you say? My expression is, I don't like yuca frita. If you want to agree with me, what do you say? Uh, so do I. Thank you so much. Marvin, if you want to disagree with me, because I say, I don't like yuca frita, what do you say? If I agree with you. No, disagree. I disagree. I I don't let me see. I don't like a either. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's see. We're going to watch this video about the grammar content and then we're going to start it in detail. Here we go. Let's listen and watch. Hi, did you copy the agreement words? Very good. Now we'll teach you when to use each. Try to make sense of what you see on the following chart. Don't go as we'll walk you through the use of so, too, neither, either, and more examples. So, too, neither, either. I like Japanese food a lot. So do I. I do too. Really? I don't like it very much. I'm crazy about dessert. So am I. I am too. Oh, I'm not. I can eat really spicy food. So can I. I can too. Really? I can't. I don't like greasy food. Neither do I. I don't either. Oh, I like it a lot. I'm not in the mood for Indian food. Neither am I. I'm not either. Really? I am. I can't stand fast food. Neither can I. I can't either. Oh, I love it. The use of to and so to agree with something being said to us. In English, we can use to or so in short answers to show we agree with something or someone. Notice we use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement being said to us. For example, I am hungry. I am too. So am I. I love apple pie. I do too. So do I. I can play chess. I can too. So can I. The position of two is right at the end. Follow me. Subject. Auxiliary. Two. The position of so is right at the beginning. Follow me again. So. Auxiliary plus subject. Now let's study the use of neither and either. To show agreement with negative statements, we can use neither and either. We also use the auxiliary verb of the short answer of the statement. Pay attention to the following. We use the negative auxiliary when we use either and the positive auxiliary with either. Follow the examples. I am not hungry. I am not either. Neither am I. I don't dance salsa. I don't either. Neither do I. I can't swim. I can't either. Neither can I. I'll leave you with the formula so you understand it better. Subject plus negative auxiliary plus either. Notice either goes at the end. Neither plus positive auxiliary plus subject. Notice neither goes at the beginning. Please agree with me in the following statements. Write your responses on our discussion box. I like ice cream. I am happy. I love pizza. I can't swim. I don't like French.
sorry. Okay, yes, I love I love the way she says, like, please agree with me. So, uh, in real life, sometimes people tell us some things about something that they like and something they don't like. Something they prefer or something they don't prefer. Yes. Now, it depends on us if we agree with this person, if we agree or if we disagree. Yes. Alguien nos puede decir, oh, I'm crazy about Italian food. Pues si a mí me gusta, right? So am I. I am too. Ahora, si yo le llevo la contraria, va y digo, bueno, pues, I'm sorry, pero, oh, I am not. Okay. So, these expressions here are to show agreement. And we have two options, right? So, or two. Neither or either. Now, if I want to show disagreement, Yo quiero pues, decirle, pues que no estoy de acuerdo, right? With the expression, pues solo digo lo opposite. ¿Cuál es lo opposite? Bueno, aquí alguien me dice, I'm crazy about Italian food. Positive, yes? Positive sentence. Vengo yo y le digo, ah, I'm not. Lo cambio, right? Le digo lo negative. No, I'm not. Yes, so le digo algo, something negative. No, I'm not. Yes. I can eat really spicy food. So can I. I can too. Yes, I agree with you. But then I can say, really? I can't. Okay. I disagree with this person, right? A lot of chili right here. But I can't. Yes. La gastritis, I'm sorry. Yeah. I can't. No me lo permite, right? Yes, I'm not allowed because of this gast gastritis heavy that I have. Yeah. Also, with simple present, I like Japanese food a lot. Right? Usted puede estar de acuerdo with this person and you can say, oh, so do I. Vamos a comprar, right? Yes, let's go. Or you can say, I do, too. Let's go and spend a lot of money. Pero si usted, pues, I don't, you don't like it. Si usted no le gusta, oh, I don't like it yes i don't like it this is you disagree now look at this one estas tres examples or three expressions son affirmative pues quiere decir que alguien nos dice algo positive right cerca de ya sea food people whatever cuando alguien nos diga algo positive and pues yo as another human yes that I spend a lot of money, yes, money that I don't have. <laughs> Dinero que no tengo, right? Vengo yo y le quiero estar de acuerdo, utilizo estos que están acá. Puedo utilizar so, yes, y puedo utilizar also to. So va at the beginning and to va al final. Cualquiera de los dos significan lo mismo. Yo también, yo también, right? This means the same. Yeah. Now, solo tiene que fijarse, right? Mire, verb to be, can, simple present. Yes? So you can answer. Yes? So am I. I can eat. So can I. I like. So do I. Yes? And if you want to show disagreement, bueno, solo le dice lo opposite. No, no, no. Here, I have these expressions. I am not. A veces some people no tell us, right? Negative expressions about something. Yes. Yeah, sometimes nos aburrimos de las pupusas. That is true, right? Yeah, sometimes, like in the morning, in the afternoon, at lunch, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Pupusas, right? Sometimes, pues nos aburrimos, right? So, I am not in the mood for Indian food. Um, yeah. Esta expression is negative. 
these three. Not, can't, done. Yes? So when somebody tell us something negative about something, y pues, pues yo también estoy de acuerdo with this expression, right? Yo, I can use neither or either. When we use either, tenemos que ponerle negative. Okay. En neither, vamos con affirmative. Al final, it's the same thing. I don't like salty food. A mí tampoco, right? A mí tampoco. Yes? Means the same. The only thing you are showing is agreement. Yes? So you agree with this person. I can stand fast food. I can either. Yes? So you agree with this person, right? Yes? If somebody tells you, I don't want to go to, I don't know, Severland. I don't want to go Severland. You can say, neither do I. I don't either, right? So, this is the way we show agreement about something. And if you want to disagree, ¿qué hace? Dice lo opposite. Si aquí la sentence is negative, aquí yo digo lo positive. I don't like salty food. Oh, I like it a lot. Yes? Any question about this? No questions? Because I do have questions. Kathy, Jordan, Jornada Dos Cruces. Hello, Kathy. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. When do we use so and to? Um, cuando es afirmativa la oración. Okay. And do I use so and to to show agreement or disagreement? And Do I use this so and to to show agreement or disagreement, Kathy? It's for agreement. Very good. To show agreement, very good. I can use so and to when the sentences are affirmative, like these ones, right? You see? These ones are affirmative sentences. Very good, Kathy. Thank you so much. Uh, Andrea Esmeralda Flores. Hello. Good evening. Good evening, Andrea. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Teacher. Oh, I yes. Have a okay, tell me. In the simple present, always respond with do. For example, I walk every day, I say, so I do, or I do too, or I say, so I walk, or I walk too. Excuse me, can you like repeat that? Sorry. In the simple present, always respond with do for example i walk every day or i say so i do or i do too or say so i walk oh uh, in here right i like japanese food a lot so do i i do too Oh, what happened here, Catherine, is like these expressions are short. Okay. So yeah. that means, that means, ¿se acuerda with the simple present que tenemos do, en, does, right? Yes? Yes. Okay. Entonces, right, cuando alguien le pregunta, do you, 
play tennis. Sorry. ¿Cómo contestamos? Yes, I do. Right? Yep. Ok, very good. Entonces vamos a ocupar esta short version aquí. Right? Yes. Entonces por eso aquí, por ejemplo, si alguien dice I like Japanese food, voy a ocupar so. Entonces vengo aquí y lo cambio, right? Utilice la palabra so, luego esto que va simbolizando el simple present, right? Esta palabrita, yes? Sí? Porque esta palabrita es esta, right? Que va con el simple present. También esta va con el simple present, right? Ok. So, do, and then the pronoun. So do I. I don't know if, if I answer your question, Catherine. Tell me. Tell me. If not, I can, like, do another example. Uh, en Spanish, teacher. <laughs> Pero, uh -huh. Digamos, si alguien dice que le gusta caminar todas las mañanas, le gusta salir a caminar todas las mañanas. Yes. Y yo estoy de acuerdo con eso. Entonces, ahí se responde siempre con... So, do I. Yes, that is correct. Sí. Y, yes. por ejemplo, cuando alguien dice que le gusta comer algo, también con so do I. Exactly, very good. Solo contesto con can cuando la oración va con can. Ah, es yes. que eso me había confundido, que yo mm -hmm. pensé que se contestaba siempre con el verbo, digamos, so, um, like I. Ajá, entonces, ay, había no contestado. Pero si es presente simple, siempre sería con do, verbo. Exacto. Lo único que vamos a hacer es simbolizar algo que vaya con el present simple, que sería this thing. Ok. okay. Beautiful. You. Great job. Great question. Mm -hmm. oh. Ok, very good. Also, uh... sí, Andrea me dijo que solo va a estar de oyente. Sorry, Andrea, I forgot. Ok, José Edgardo Méndez. Tell me, when do we use neither and also either? Jose? Uh, negative teacher. Uh, what do you mean by that? Can you explain a little bit more, please? Sorry, teacher. I... I don't listen. Oh, can, can you explain a little bit more your answer, please? Do you hear uh, me, Jose? Yes, like, can you explain me, like, can you explain to me a little bit more the answer? Like, negative. How come negative? Yes. Uh, uh, for example, uh, I don't have no care. I don't like the full the full Chinese Chinese food. Oh, that is correct. Very good. So when the sentence or when the uh, expression uh, the expression is negative know. you you yeah, use yes. a neither and also either. Okay. That's correct. And neither do I say negative. Mm, exactly. Right. Uh, I correct. don't either. I don't either. Exactly. So you need to be playing with the with the grammar part. Very good. And um let me see um just listening diana if i want to show disagreement with somebody what do i do if i want to sh disagree with this person diana ¿Cómo fue la pregunta? if i want to disagree with somebody what do i do if somebody comes and tell me oh I like spaghetti. How do you disagree with that expression? Um, in this case, I can use 
neither. También. I mean, aided. disagreement. No, aided. Uh, disagreement. Like, if I say, if I say, I like spaghetti. And if you disagree with me, how do you, what, what is the expression that you use? I can use, I don't eat it. The spaghetti. Can you repeat that, please? I don't either eat I the don't... spaghetti. Oh, okay, so you're telling me this one. Like, I don't like. Either. Okay, either. ahí está mostrando que está de acuerdo conmigo o en desacuerdo. Oh, no, neither. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Sería neither. Uh -huh. So, neither. ¿Esto es para estar de acuerdo conmigo o en desacuerdo? En desacuerdo. Yes. Ok, sí, pero necesito que esté en desacuerdo conmigo. Sí. Uh, neither do I. Ok, but my expression is I like spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Y usted tiene que estar en desacuerdo conmigo, right? What, what, are you, what do you say? Neither. Neither don't. No, I'm sorry. I'm ready. <laughs> That's okay, no problem. Okay. Just remember, todas estas expressions aquí, Ana, son para estar de acuerdo. Todas estas, right? You see this one? Si usted me dice una de estas, depending on the buyer, right? Si yo digo algo positive, usted me va a decir una de estas para estar de acuerdo conmigo, right? Ahorita yo le dije, I like spaghetti. Pero usted me dijo... I don't either. Well, I don't neither. I don't, I don't neither. Okay. No. Okay, very good. Entonces, ¿cree que puedo ocupar, por ejemplo, esa que me dijo, right? It looks like this one. ¿Sí? Por ejemplo, yo le dije una sentence como esta que está acá. Mm -hmm. I like spaghetti. Right? Y usted me dijo... I don't either. ¿Puedo ocupar esta negative con esta affirmative sentence? Diga yes or no. Don't worry no. About, about making mistakes. Si se equivoca, no problem, ok? Tampoco es que no vamos a ir al mundial. So no, don't worry. No, no, no. Okay. Porque no, el ejemplo está, no. sería I don't. Es como le dije, I don't like it. Spaghetti. I don't like to eat it. Spaghetti. Oh, okay, okay. So in that one, so you le digo, I like spaghetti. Sería, I don't like to eat spaghetti. Oh, very good. I, see. <laughs> I don't like spaghetti. Oh, very good. Yes. Ahí va. Very good. Beautiful. Perfect. Exactly, right? Entonces, what do you do? Me dice lo opposite. Me dice lo contrario, right? Okay. Es como, si tiene esposo o esposa o novio o novia, right? Pues llévele la contraria. This is about, cuando you disagree with somebody, es llevarle la contraria, right? Yes? Right? Si somebody tells you, oh, no, I love pupusas. Let's do, let's, they make some pupusas. Sorry, I don't. Okay? <laughs> yes? So, cuando you disagree, es llevarle la contraria with somebody. Si alguien le dice algo negativo, I don't like pupusas. Oh, I'm sorry for you. I like them a lot. Yes. So, that is a disagreement, right? Que usted le lleva lo, lo opposite. Y cuando usted esté de acuerdo, sí, you can use this one cuando la sentence sea affirmative o cuando alguien le diga something negative, usted puede utilizar neither or also either. Yes? Okay. Question for you, Marvin. Tell me, please. For example, viene alguien, right? Chero suyo, right? A friend. Y le dice, hey, Marvin, I'm crazy about Italian food. Right? Y usted, right? You agree with this person. Puede utilizar neither and either. Puede utilizar with this uh, expression? I think 
I can use the, this expression. Okay, I need one. to use so I am or I am too. Very good. That is correct. That is correct. Very good. That's why we have the grammar. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> like Nurka says, right? I'm sorry for you. Yeah, we have the grammar part here. Yes, and that is the difficult part. That is the difficult part. Okay. Yes. So este either and este neither, we we can't we can't use with affirmative expressions. Yes. So that's why we have this ones, mire. So and to. Yes. So when we have this kind of expressions, affirmative, we gotta use this one. And when we have negative, we gotta use this ones. Okay. And again, don't feel in English. Don't feel afraid to make mistakes, right? Just spell it out. Okay, that's normal. That happens a lot. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Ya me emocioné. Okay, I'm sorry. I need to take the attendance really quick. I'm sorry. Give me a minute. When you hear your beautiful name, say present or I'm here. Okay. Uh, don't forget the exercise in the plataforma. Si tiene algún inconvenience, avisenme so I can help you with that. Ana Isela Yanes, Angel. Welcome. Good evening. Ana Ruth Perez Leiva. Ana Ruth. Hello, Ana. Are you here? Ana. Okay, let me check Ana really quick. Oh, thank you, Ana. Welcome. Good evening. Nice to have you. Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernandez. Andrea, welcome. Good evening. It's nice to have you, Andrea. Welcome, welcome. Um, Francisco also is here. Thank you, Francisco. Diana Cristabel Melendez Rivera. Present. Nice Pre to have you. Gerardo Jose Tepas Sanchez. I'm here. Wonderful. It's nice to have you. Irma Suleima Grande de Cuellar. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Jose Edgardo Mendez Miranda. I think Jose is... Present teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Catherine Suleima Pocasangre Escobar. Present. Thank you so much. Catherine Nicole Salazar Larios. I'm here, teacher. Good evening and welcome. Kathy Jornada Dos Cruces. Present teacher. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Marvin Alejandro Landaverde Arias. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Oscar Otoniel Cruz Guzman. Present. Good evening. Nice to have you. Roberto Carlos Alfaro Alberto. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Sebastiana Guadalupe Aguilar Hernández. Present. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you. Welcome, everybody. One more time. Do you have a question about this? Do you have a question about this grammar content? Tell me. Like, if you have it in Spanish, tell me. That's the problem. Thank you so much, Francisco. Welcome. It's nice to have you. If you have a question in Spanish, thank you, Ruth. I got you here. Uh huh. If you have a question about this, tell me. Like, if that is in Spanish, no problem. Just tell me. Uh, uh huh. Sí, yo tengo una duda solo donde es en disagree ahí donde me confundo un poco. That's okay. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. well, ¿Cuál es la duda que tiene? Sorry. Es, o sea, lo voy a hacer en español porque no. no. That's okay. O sea, el primer ejemplo donde dice I am crazy about Italian food para decir, estar en eh, acuerdo es son I am I y I am tú uh -huh. pero en disagree o sea, es I am not es Exacto. como utilizar el verbo to be mm, algo así oh yes porque acuérdese que la, la, la expresión está con el verbo to be entonces como está uh -huh, con el verbo to be todo le sigue con el verbo to be Inclusive la expresión mm -hmm. para estar en desacuerdo, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, also here is the sentence is with can. Vamos con el mismo pattern. Yes. So can I? Exactly. I can too. Y no, I no. cannot. Yes, right. Ahora, with simple present, usted identifica los verbs. Yes. 
I, I, um, so the, uh, Usted identifica los verbs. Si alguien le dice, oh, I, I play soccer, I don't know, I cook dinner, or I love, I don't know. Yes? So, cuando le digan un normal verb, in simple present, so you need to identify simple present. Okay. Also with the negative, mire, right? It's the same, mm -hmm. right? No sé si esa era la cuestión. Mm -hmm. Sí, dice, en la, donde dice, I can stand fast food. ¿Por qué en disagree dice, I love it? No dice, I cannot. Oh, es lo que le comentaba, right? Tenemos que llevarle la contraria. Cuando usted está en disagree with somebody, usted le lleva la contraria, siempre. Uh -huh. Entonces, si aquí alguien le dice, I don't like salty food, usted le dice lo contrario. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál es lo contrario? Positive. Si aquí uh -huh. es negative, uh -huh. okay. viene usted okay. o cambia. Uh -huh. Igual, si aquí es positive, viene usted aquí, look, you change it, ¿ok? Negative. Ah, uh, yeah. Exacto. Dice, in Ajá. this case, can I say, eh, I'm not because I'm crazy about Japanese food. Ah, uh, in which one? This one? Um, in this case, can I, can I say, eh, um, uh, example, tell me I'm crazy about Italian food. Um, um, disagree. I'm not because I'm crazy about Japanese food. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. If you want to say like, like I'll give explanation about why not, you can say that one. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Also, you can say, oh. I'm not. I prefer, I don't know, Japanese, right? Yes. Yes. Very good. Yeah. That's a, that's even better if you want to give more details about it, right? Yes. For example, here in this one, I am not in the mood for Indian food. Yes. Right. So very good. Thank you so much. Nice job. Okay. Somebody else? Another question? Yes. At the end, don't forget, with these two expressions here, significan lo mismo, right? So am I, yo también, I am, too, yo también. I am not in the mood for Italian food. Yo tampoco, right? Yo tampoco, right? So it's, it means the same. However, we can use neither or either. Yes, pretty good. Let's have some exercises for practice. Here we go. Okay, we have some extra um, vocabulary about food. In food, as you may know, sometimes we have this kind of food. Tell me, please, Sebastiana, read the vocabulary. Bland, delicious, greasy, healthy, rich, salty, spicy. Okay, tell me one example related to bland, uh, Sebastiana, bland food. Um, vegetable, for example, potato. Oh, very good. Thank so you so spag much. Spaghetti. Spaghetti. Uh, or noodles. Milk. Oh, milk. Very good. Cheese. That's right. Very good. Thank you so much. Oscar. Hello, Oscar. Can you participate? Hello. Yes, I can. Perfect. Oh, with delicious, right? Tell me what is something that's delicious for you. Mm. Greasy. <laughs> oh, with greasy. Okay, let's work with greasy. Something that's greasy for you. Yeah, uh, fried chicken. Don't pour right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Pinolito, right? Okay. Okay. Who <laughs> for the wings? <laughs> yes. Delicious, but not nutritious. That's true. Yeah, but <laughs> bad for your health. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, Mrs. Cosas, right? <laughs> like hamburgers, duran un montón, right? Yeah. <laughs> like month. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Very good. Thank you so much. What about uh, Kathy? Healthy food. Give me examples of healthy food. Um... Apples, okay. orange, bananas, 
Okay, very good. What is what is uh your favorite fruit, Kathy? Um, healthy food. No, what's your favorite food? I'm sorry, fruit. I apologize. In general, um, maybe ramen. Oh no, I'm talking about fruit. Fruit. Ah, fruit. Mango. Oh, mangoes. Yeah, everybody loves mangoes. Those things are delicious. Yeah, very good. Thank you so much. What about something with rich? Ah, look at this one. Mm -hmm. What is the meaning here? Marvin, tell me. Something that goes related with rich. Oh. The cake. Yeah, that's rich in sugar, right? Yes. <laughs> that's why we have it like that one. Also, ojitas. Yeah, yeah. Ojitas. Oh, I, I believe is the ice cream is rich. Oh, yes. Ice cream is another one, right? Yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm sorry if you like have these problems with uh, the sugar, right? Some people are sick with that one. Uh, that's difficult. Yeah, it's not, it's not healthy. So what about salty? What kind of salty food we have, Jose Edgardo? What kind of food do you like? You know that is salty. Jose Edgardo. Yes. What salty. kind of? Como se dice mani? <laughs> oh, how do you say mani in English? Anybody? How do you say mani? Mm. Mm -hmm. Somebody peanuts. help us. Excuse me? Peanuts? Peanuts. Peanuts? Peanuts. Okay, yes. The peanut salty. The peanut salty. That's right. That's right. What about tostadas? Mm -hmm. yeah. Pescado tostadas? seco, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. Exactly. That thing also... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> oh, carne oreada, that's the way they call it, right? <laughs> or oh, oh, in San Vicente, how do you call that that kind of uh, meat? It's carne de chucho, right? Yes, carne de chucho, right? <laughs> I'm sorry if you're from, from there. Uh, I'm not saying that that is true, but that's the way they usually say, right? <laughs> Thank you so much. Very good. What about spicy? Spicy food. What kind of spicy food do you know? Irma Suleima. Something that goes with a spicy food. Mm -hmm. Difficult. Oh. <laughs> yeah, but what is the food that, like, I don't know, you think like always you should have like a little bit of a spicy in it? Cheese. Um... Like cheese? Um, maybe, right? Yeah, sometimes we have a spicy cheese. Very good. Or chips. Oh, chips as well. Very good. Like like takis, right? Yeah, like takis. Mm -hmm. What about what about Mexican food? Tacos. Exactly right. With taquitos, we usually mm -hmm. we had chili on that one. Mm -hmm. Very good. What about jicama? Mm -hmm. Yes. Do you like jicama mm -hmm. with chili? <laughs> Yes, um, With, I washed it, a little bit of uh, salty thing, right? <laughs> yes, mm. very good. I mean, think about this. Delicious things are not healthy things, right? That's why we have this expression that is delicious but not nutritious. Yes, just, just think about it. Everything that is delicious is it's not true. healthy. That's for sure. And we're going to work to show agreement on these things. I am not crazy about Italian food. If you want to show agreement, how do you do that? How do you show agreement to this sentence? I am not crazy about Italian food. Neither do I. Very good. Neither. Oh my, give me a minute, I'm sorry. Neither am I. Beautiful. And what is another expression that we can use?
I'm not either. Very good. I'm not either. Either. Very good. Yes. Right. There is a key. Don't forget when the sentence is negative, when the expression is negative, and if you want to agree with this person, you need to use neither or either. But when the sentence is affirmative, what do you use? Example number two. Uh -huh. I can eat anything but uh, so can I. Oh, very good. There you go. So can I. And what is another way? I, I can too. Very good. I can comma. Don't forget the comma. And then two. There you go. Beautiful. That is correct. Diana, number three is for you, please. I think Indian food is delicious. Aha, uh -huh, Diana. Tell me. Mire, agreement. So I, I, um, I. Excuse me. So I, I. Oh, okay. So the expression is, I think. I think. Indian food is delicious. So do I. Oh, beautiful. Yes, very good. <laughs> Simple present. So do I. Beautiful. Okay, and what is another expression, Indiana? I do too. Beautiful. Yes, I do too. Very good. Yes, very good. Thank you. Anna Ruth, number four, please. Solo déjeme ver si puede participar. Oh, no, right, Anna. Can you participate, Anna? Yes or no? Tell me. Yes or no? Catherine, can you participate, Catherine Suleima? Yes or no? Yes. Thank you, Catherine. Number four is for you. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, Anna. Va a trabajar con la number 10. Anna, work with number 10. Okay, Catherine, number four. I can't stand greasy food. I can respond if I agree or disagree. Uh, agree. You agree. Okay. I can use neither. Can I? Oh, very good. Yes. Neither. Okay. And what is another expression? And I can't either. Beautiful. Yes. Very good. I'm sorry. Yes. Neither can I. I can't either. Very good. I don't like salty food. Uh, Roberto Carlos, can you participate? Yes or no? Are you are you working? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, okay, perfect. Number five, please. I don't like salty food. Number five, verdad? Yes, that is correct. Neither uh, do I. Do. Oh, very good. Neither, very good. Yes, neither do I. And what is another Sorry. expression, please, Oscar? Um, uh, I don't either. Beautiful, beautiful. That is correct. Don't either. Very good. Yes, right? So, again, as I was telling you, Negative, negative, neither, neither, either, either. With negative. Very good. Gerardo, can you participate, Gerardo? Yes. Perfect. Yes, Number six. So am I? Oh, piece of cake, right? So am I. And what is another expression, um, Gerardo? I am two. Easy, right? Comma, two. This is like coffee with hojitas, right? Piece of cake. Mm -hmm. So you can. Very good. Catherine, Nicole, Salazar, Larios. Mamba number seven. Thank you. So I am. Am oh. I? So am okay. I. Very good. Am Very I. good. What is another expression? I am too. Exactly. Very good. 
Yep, very good. Marvin, can you participate, Marvin, with number eight? Yes, teacher. Oh, perfect. Thank you. So I do. So do I. And I do too. Okay. Comma two. Okay. Very good. Let's go with the next one. Irma, Suleyma, do you have a question? So am I? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you have a question with number A or number nine? A, nine. Okay. So am I? I am two. So I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Mm -hmm. Remember that mm -hmm. this is like verb to be or is another verb? I neither. No, I'm sorry. Tiene que identificar si es el verb to be o es otro verb in the sentence, right? Cuando es otro verb, es simple present. Yes. Mm. Uh -huh. I do. Oh, yes. Very good. Okay. So, can you please formulate your answer one more time? I do. do I do two. I do, comma, and two. And what is another way? So, mm -hmm. so do I. Very good. Thank you. And let me check. Oh. <laughs> Ana, escríbame en el chat. Ana, Ruth, la number 10, please. Escríbame en el chat um, soon, Ana. Oh, beautiful, Ana. Yay, that's very good, Ana. Yes. There is one mistake in the exercise, please. I want you to find out what's the mistake in the exercises. Please. Mm -hmm. What is the mistake in the exercises? Number eight oh, perfect. is, is a negative. Yes, that is correct. Is negative in that one, in number eight. Yes. If you see in number eight, I roll, so do I, I do too. But this sentence is incorrect because I have negative. Ah, Jesus, I delete two. I'm sorry. Okay, give me a minute, okay. I do two. And then it's like, um, so do I, so do I. Yeah, and this one here, remember, if that is negative, I need to use neither and also either. So neither, okay, am I, neither, I'm sorry, I did a mistake, neither do I, or I don't. Oh my gosh, I don't either, either, yes, right, because of the expression is negative, so todo lo que vaya with negative by con neither or either, yes, is up to you, y aquí no sé por qué no lo hice, man. I think I delete this one. Yes, I'm sorry. I think I delete this one. Okay. Yes. Um, this is the way we do it. Identify if the expression is affirmative or negative. So you can use so do I or I'm sorry. You can use so or to with affirmative phrases or statements and with negative you can use neither and also either. It depends on you. Also, don't forget if you want to say the opposite, because in real life, we will have to say the opposite sometimes, not here in the grammar, 
in the grammar probablemente no, pues no vamos a ver decir the opposite, right? Pero en real life, cuando alguien le diga, I'm sorry, I don't like Japanese food, sometimes you disagree with this person, right? So if you disagree with this person, you go with the opposite phrase. Uh, okay. I'm sorry, it's time to go to bed so you can rest and be happy. Yes, and be ready for tomorrow's class. Thank you so much for being here. Um, good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Have a good night, night guys. You do the same. Bye, everyone. Goodbye. See you again. Bye-bye.